the Motor City Machine Guns. For those of you who are not educated, this is Chris Saban and Alex Shelley, uh, one of the most well-rounded, uh, worldly known tag teams in the industry for pretty much the whole of the 2000s thus far. Pretty much a staple of TNA, right up there with AJ Styles and Samoa Joe back when they had their prevalence. Uh, started working for them back in 2003-2004. Have certainly been on and off since. And recently, they had their final tapings with the newly rebranded TNA. Not uncommon for them to leave, but they have actually gone ahead and trademarked the words Motor City Machine Guns and their abbreviated version uh, MCMJ or G, MCG. Okay. Now guys, normally when we've seen people go ahead and trademark stuff for themselves, it's usually been indication that they want to go ahead, hold on to the branding because they are certainly going someplace else. And now, mind you, most of the machine guns have been you know, New Japan Pro Wrestling. They've been at the um, Ring of Honor before it got bought up by AEW. Um, they were certainly in WA times. They've been around a lot of the indie circuits. The only two places they haven't been is AEW, obviously, and WWE. Pause. The so chances Pause. that we see the Motor City Machine Guns end up at either of these brands before the end of April. Technically, their contract does expire on April 1st. And sorry, Ryan, I had to pause you on that. That's false. They just haven't been to AEW. One of them been to WWE as a surprise partner. Alex Shelley is stint in NXT as a tag team partner for Kushida because yeah. they've been known as the time partners. Right. But that oh. was like a brief stint. Does it? It counts. <laughs> so, if I was well, a bad the Motor City themselves, as a tag team, as a brand, have never been to either AEW or WWE. All right. So, I will say this. The way this sounds like, they're planning to go to WWE. You have WWE or best. AEW. Yes, because that, one of, yeah. yeah, that 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 would be my prediction as well. Because AEW, you don't number one, you don't have to brand your name and your and the um and your team because you could just do that. Now with WWE, yes, you do have to brand because creators and the organization, which is WWE, has a habit of changing things around and making your character and changing your name, and changing the tag team's name. So the smart thing to do is to brand your character, and when you deal with WWE, once you do that, it's like, okay, how are we going to get around it? You can't. So pretty much you're paying for the Motor City Machine Guns without changing them. Right, but then I'm also reminded of Adam Copeland. Before he left WWE and went over to AEW, he trademarked uh, Rated R Superstar. Right. And but not he yet. got to go ahead and get him um, Metalingus for AEW to be played. So it's not unheard of to go ahead and do that before going into AEW, especially when we know that AEW allows people to go off and do their own things, but mm. we don't know how long these guys are necessarily going to stay anywhere. They're, these were guys that were like young lions back in 2003, 2004. Now they're relatively in their 40s, and they may just want to go on a tour rather than really have to work that hard. Like, are you really working that hard at WWE, or are you really working that hard at AEW? That's the question. What's the better option? I think it's work tag divisions. Huh? I would say I would say if you're going to go ahead and do tag work in AEW, 
Um, you'll work hard. Because they have enough uh, television time that regardless of how their roster is, uh, they get a lot of people screen time, whereas WWE, it's still a little tight. But and if you're going to have these guys, you've got to treat them as much of a big deal as Adam Copeland when he came through, as big as, uh, well, maybe not as big as Mercedes, but certainly as big as uh, Austin. Well, I'll let Kyle. Because the, the, everyone knows about it, but very few people really get to see unless they follow TNA. <sighs> exactly. It's like. If they do go to WWE, they'll be under a different name. They will first absolutely appear in NXT to be built up under whatever WWE brand they want to go with. So, is it possible that that that, that they'll come in as uh, Motor City Machine Guns? Certainly. Yeah. But I do believe that they'll pop in first. Pardon me. As... Uh, as like a uh, special, they'll still pop in an, an NXT first, and then they'll build up their their name amongst people who really only watch WWE because NXT is a mix of in, of a lot of indie fans and a lot of WWE only fans. So it will definitely introduce it, and then they'll eventually probably move up. But that but they could absolutely end up in the same type of fate as uh, Gallows and Anderson. No, I don't think they're going to be in the same fate as Gallows and Anderson because mm-hmm. they look young. They still got the agility. But also, I was going to bring up, don't they have the Mel's Tag Team Tournament going on? That's that's true. What is... I think now the... Tag team tournaments that though the matches that have been going on. Um, who is in that? New Day, right? Because that's all for the match at WrestleMania to face off against Judgment Day. Yeah. So as of right now, it's New Day. Oh God! I'm trying to think it's New Day, DIY. Miz and uh, Miz and uh, Truth. Awesome Truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who else is that? Well, Judgment Day automatically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I'm so not sure it, if there's another. It, it it has some names in it, but the question is yeah. if they if they end up appearing in that, are they going to be the ones that go over for a while, or will they no. just be jobbing out to whoever the hell they? WWE wants no, to go. No, no. There's no way they're showing up at the WrestleMania man because as of right now, you either have okay. Guy Walk or Awesome Truth taking those belts off the of day. That's pretty much and that's a lot. That is an absolute. I got You're going to go I ahead and make the tag team just to job them out on WrestleMania of all nights. That's almost a um, insult to the, to the, to the guns. No. It would be a miscarriage of justice, absolutely. But here's the thing I see. Okay, so our truth, yeah. New Day, of course, um, Judgment Day, um, DIY, and they got two slots available right. at this moment. So those two slots, we don't know who. Who? 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 Because, well, remember, there's also talk about uh, Hardy Boys, too. But do they really want Jeff back? I think that's probably going to be more safe for next WrestleMania, the last hurrah for the Hardys. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've already seen one guy get bloody this week. I don't want to see two more get bloody this week. Because I'm trying to Let's think. Let's face it. Who I'm trying to think who well, else. I, 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 I know the pain, um, Final Testament with the uh, Authors of Pain and uh, Street Profits going on with um, 
uh, what's his face, uh, Almighty Bobby Lashley. I don't know if that's gonna end up getting off into a separate match, which I thought it was going to happen. Um, but that may be part of the tag thing too, having that those two just end up rivaling against each other in the match. That's SmackDown. I don't know what happens on SmackDown nowadays. I've watched it and I end up falling asleep. But I'm still of the mind that they would go over to AEW because I'd love to say, look, they've done plenty of work with the Young Bucks. So that would be easy. I'd love to see them against FTR. I'd love to see them go against uh, some of the two people from three-man groups and the factions that they have, whether it be uh, you know, give them uh, Penta and Pac from Death Triangle. That would be an awesome match. Um, give them maybe, um, oh, Darby Allen, if he ever heals again, and pair him with someone else. That would be fun. Who uh, would they pair oh, with? That's the thing. Oh, no. The Machine Guns versus Claudio and John Mock. Yeah. That would be epic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. The machine guns versus. No, I would like to see the machine gun versus the elite. That would be that would be a fantastic match. But I don't think that's happening but because, like I said, I feel that they're going to go WWE. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown